that, but but occasionally doing work with psychedelics over that time. And then um, I would say more recently, it's been more back on psychedelics rather than these stimulants. Mm -hmm. I still do a little bit of that, and sometimes mm -hmm. uh, there's crossover. Um, lately, I, the last few years, we've been working with um, uh, DMT, dimethyltryptamine, other tryptamines, methyl isopropyl tryptamine, uh, dipropyl tryptamine, and some others. And then uh, very recently, I've been involved in a project that we're beginning in, at the University of Wisconsin-Madison uh, involving psilocybin. And we hope to begin a study where we can, a clinical trial is really giving psilocybin to uh, patients who have anxiety that's treatment resistant mm -hmm. due to a diagnosis of uh, an illness, mm -hmm. especially a fatal illness like cancer or something mm -hmm. that they're that is, is going to be terminal and they might uh, feel uh, anxious about it, upset about it. And you try to diagnose cancer through psychiatry? Right? No. Uh, these would be patients who have uh -huh. been diagnosed uh -huh. have with who have cancer and okay. are having uh, anxiety okay. because they weren't, maybe they never thought about death or maybe it, whatever. Uh, uh, they, and now all of a sudden they only have a short time to live and, uh, and they have some unresolved uh, issues, personal issues, you know, maybe past traumas, whatever, uh, that the, there's evidence that psilocybin will help mm -hmm. those people become more at peace, mm -hmm. uh, accept their death, uh, and, 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 and use their time uh, to... Uh, in a satisfactory way. So we're going to be, they've already been doing some of these studies at uh, New York University in New York um, and uh, at Johns Hopkins uh, University in, in Maryland and and I believe at, at UCLA Charlie Grove I think has done some also some end of, well, I know he's done some end of life trials with psilocybin. So at Wisconsin we hope to not just duplicate what they're already doing but also expand uh, our uh, patients so that uh, we might be, for it, just as an example, maybe there are patients who have anxiety for a medical diagnosis that's not cancer. Like maybe they have some other illness that might worry them maybe hepatitis C or kidney disease or something uh, who could still benefit from uh, the psilocybin experience. And so I, that's what I've been involved in helping uh, with direct the, 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 the project and also I'm synthesizing the psilocybin uh, for the study. Isn't it a little strange for you?